From sheep to sweater, how wool is made. Have you ever snuggled into a super soft sweater and wondered where it came from? Get ready for an amazing adventure. That cozy sweater probably started its life on a fluffy sheep. We're going on a journey to discover how wool transforms from a sheep's coat into the clothes we wear. This is the incredible story of how wool goes from the farm to your wardrobe. Prepare to be amazed by the process. Sheep have a thick, warm coat of wool all over their bodies. It's like they're wearing a giant natural sweater all the time. This woolly coat protects them from the cold weather. It's their very own built-in blanket, keeping them snug and warm. Once a year, usually when springtime rolls around, it's time for the sheep to get a haircut. This is called shearing. Farmers carefully and gently shear the sheep's wool. They use special clippers to remove the entire woolly fleece in one piece. Don't worry, it doesn't hurt the sheep at all. In fact, they usually feel much lighter and happier after their woolly coat is removed. The fleece that comes off the sheep is full of dirt, grease, and other things. It's definitely not ready to be made into a sweater yet. So the wool needs a good bath. It's washed in warm, soapy water to get rid of all the yucky stuff. Think of it like giving the wool a spa day. All the dirt and grime are washed away, leaving it clean and fresh. After the wool is washed, it's still a bit tangled and messy. That's where carding comes in. Carding is like brushing the wool with giant combs. These combs untangle the fibers and line them all up in the same direction. The result is soft and fluffy wool, ready to be spun into yarn. It's like brushing your hair to get rid of all the knots. Now it's time to turn the fluffy wool into something useful, yarn. This is done by spinning the wool. Spinning involves twisting the fibers together to create a long, strong thread. It's like making a long string from lots of tiny pieces. This can be done using machines or even old-fashioned spinning wheels. Either way, the result is beautiful yarn ready to be made into something special. The yarn is now ready to be transformed into fabric. This fabric will eventually become our cozy clothes. There are two main ways to make fabric from yarn, knitting and weaving. Both are super cool processes. Knitting uses needles to loop the yarn together. It's like creating a chain of yarn that interlocks with itself. Knitting creates a stretchy fabric, perfect for things like sweaters and socks. It's what makes your sweater so comfy and flexible. Weaving involves using two sets of yarn that cross over and under each other. Think of it like making a checkerboard with yarn. Weaving creates a more structured fabric, often used for blankets and other items that need to hold their shape. It's strong and durable. Once the fabric is made, it's time to turn it into clothes. This involves cutting and sewing the fabric into the desired shape. The fabric is carefully cut according to a pattern. Then it's sewn together to create a sweater, hat, scarf, or any other woolly garment. Finally, details like buttons, zippers, and other decorations are added. And just like that, a warm and cozy wool garment is born. Next time you wear your favorite wool sweater, remember the amazing journey it took to get there. From the sheep to the shearing, washing, carding, spinning, and finally, the knitting or weaving. It's a process that takes time, care, and a lot of hard work. But the result is a wonderful natural material that keeps us warm and happy. Wool is a truly amazing gift from nature. So let's appreciate the woolly wonders that keep us cozy all winter long. Now that you know how wool is made, why not try learning to knit or weave? You can even visit a local farm to see sheep being sheared. Share this video with your friends and family so they can learn about the amazing journey of wool too. Let's all appreciate the hard work that goes into making our cozy clothes.